Hello and welcome to this conversation with Deepa Malik again as part of International Women's Day the conclave uh, clearly celebrating our women is our theme for this particular International Women's Day and one of the one of the pioneers if i can say is obviously Deepa Malik so this is why we are celebrating her today Deepa ji from that particular day when you were told you are a cheat and uh, you have qualified wrongly to becoming the president of the paralympic committee of india and inspiring millions you have seen it all how do you look back firstly i'm humbled uh, boria every time we meet uh, you have some good words to say and they are all inspiring they validate my journey and uh, i take it forward from there because i feel um, that the sport has given me a lot it has shown me how to how to rise above my challenges it has shown me what is the meaning of consistency and perseverance uh i think i have practically learned every lesson of how to live my life on my sports journey and that's what i preach that's what i practice that every person should definitely play a sport uh to become uh, ready for the th- for the journey called life the day i was called a cheat well um that was the most heartbreaking moment for me in my sports career when i was dragged to the high court for my selection to rio paralympics but it also gave me a lot of energy from within because then the purpose became larger than just winning a medal it was also about my integrity my hard work my journey of ability beyond disability which i probably this medal gave me the strength to become a voice to prove my worth to prove ability beyond disability and that inspiration and that way that i prepared for the medal i think that one year taught me what is sport science uh what are the anxiety levels that a sports person and especially a woman goes through because with me were the taboos of severe disability and the age i was preparing for paralympics at an age when i was 45 years old and everybody thought and then followed by two more medals at the asian games in 2018 in jakarta uh it was uh you know shattering a lot of glass ceilings you have become this how do i put it this poster girl that nothing in life is actually not doable how do you look at that macro picture of yours see my journey as it is i never call myself a sportswoman i always call myself as f an activist because i set out on this journey to change mindsets i set out on this journey to change my own identity and uh, to make people look at disability in a different way sports was just a medium for that change and uh, i have been working with a lot of foundations i've been working with a lot of women empowerment initiatives boria and there's this v foundation that we started uh, where we were empowering uh, women entrepreneurs making them live their dreams if they had any skill uh, they should put it in execution and not just sit home with that skill so trying to tell them how to what are the business lessons then we collaborated with iit uh, delhi for these workshops and when the first course began and we were doing the opening 80% of the women were above 40 years and 60% of them said that we got inspired when we saw that if a 46 year old woman and a 48 year old woman can win medals and pursue her dreams and follow her heart then why can't i bake why can't i stitch why can't i gift wrap why can't i use my skill and put it into action so that's what is very inspiring for me that thank god i won these medals and brought about this element of thought in women that let us not restrict ourselves uh because of gender or age and even disability and so wonderful to see that so many women athletes have come forward in severe disabilities in fact as a president it's a challenge for me to balance the team because severe disability players have started coming out to play they need escorts they need attendants and due to covid we have limitations in number of uh, team members going you know like in rio also it was a challenge in tokyo it was a challenge to balance the team so it's 
so encouraging to see the change what's the way forward deepa ji let me share right now when i log in i log in from a uh, small city seeker in area of rajasthan and uh, the way a paralympian was greeted in the city every senior member senior official whether it was a district uh, commissioner the school children the parents everybody applauded para sports and a paralympian so i see the change if if in remote areas of the country people are ready to celebrate para sports i think our country is ready to now take para sports uh, way forward because uh, the policies have become inclusive the focus of the government is totally on making para sports a mainstream sport people have become uh, aware of these sports they are seeing job opportunities self reliance opportunities opportunities for dignity opportunity for empowering themselves through sports and creating a new identity for themselves today is international women's day aapka message to the to the millions and billions jo aapko dekh ke samajhte hain jo deepa malik ko dekh ke ye believe karte hain ki mujhe bhi karna hai mera sab message bahut simple hai bhuya sir uh duniya aapko usi nazar se dekhegi jis nazar se aap khud apne aap ko dekhoge you know uh very simple so the 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 whole story is only about self belief and continuing to learn to empower yourself through your skills uh through your own self confidence you know if you have the faith within you that you can you know target a dream pursue a goal have a passion and then you have the uh you know the will to go and achieve it there are people who want to support you because all you have to do is believe in yourself and uh, also as a woman you have to accept that you, it is your duty as much as any other gender in the country to give back to the growth of your country to become to participate so you have to come out there with some skill something to contribute to the growth of your country no country no society uh, nobody can progress until the women are participating so it is the onus lies on us it is our responsibility also to grab every opportunity to participate to educate yourself to have one passion that can make you give back to your society and your country i'll end it there deepa ji thank you deepa malik thank you for being thank here thank you so much and wishing everyone a very happy women's day thank you thanks a lot thank you